Action News Now Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Wow, there's a beautiful sunset from our Tuscan cam looking to the uh, to the uh, northwest, west northwest there, the sunset there over to Hama County. We just get the best time of day to take all these nice, right now, beautiful yeah. live looks over our community while we're stuck here inside. <laughs> Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff with us now. Jason, we're looking at clear skies ahead really for the next few days here at least, huh? Yeah, we have a lot of clear sky for tonight. Eventually by tomorrow night there will be some clouds coming in our sky. But will they give us a chance for rain or snow? The answer is mm, not a good chance in the short term. But we're going to look at the long term forecast also. Taking another live view outside from our Lexington Hill camera. Another view of that dusk. The sun set about a half hour ago, give or take, but still a nice, clear, quiet night for us. The temperatures, although mild now, won't be this mild for very long without any wind and without any cloud cover above us. Currently in Chico, no wind, 63 degrees under a mostly clear sky. It's still 64 degrees in Redding after highs near 70 this afternoon. The wind north at six miles an hour. Red Bluff still a mild, mostly clear sky and 63 degrees. The wind out of the northwest at six miles an hour. Oroville, not quite as warm today and cooling faster also currently 57 degrees and light wind only three miles an hour out of the southeast now this morning we had a wide range of overnight lows alturas 11 degrees it was briefly down the lower 40s in Reading, but by the morning hours it actually rose up to 52 degrees for a morning low with some northerly airflow and we have more 30s and 40s for the rest of the valley this morning temperatures right now although warmer than average are starting to cool down mount shasta is already down to 39 degrees it's 42 in chester 50 Seven degrees in paradise and lower 60s for Red Bluff as well as Chico and Redding. As you can see, no cloud cover of any consequence around the region. We're going to have that change though in about 24 hours though. A small disturbance, a little cold front moving toward the west coast is going to give us a lot more cloud cover by the time we get to 11 o'clock tomorrow night after the sun has set. But as you can see, nothing popping up on our future cast radar. So not a good chance for any rain or snow coming out of that. And we'll have fewer clouds once we get to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Time for Tony's backyard forecast in Chico. Also looking delightful. We'll make sure you bring the pets inside by the uh, late night hours because it's going to be too cold for them tomorrow morning. But by the afternoon, they can frolic in the lawn. It's going to be nice outside with temperatures in the lower to mid 60s for your Wednesday afternoon. Here's the forecast for everybody else tomorrow. Looking pretty good. It's going to be clear in the morning for the northern mountains, but we'll have increasing clouds by the time the sun sets. Daytime highs in the 50s and lower 60s before that minor cold front arrives for the plateau, for the Sierra, and for the Cascades. Another cold night with a clear sky. Lows in the teens and 20s. Highs mainly in the 50s, though. And speaking of warmth for this time of year, we'll take 50s and 60s for the ridge after a fairly mild overnight with 30s and 40s for lows. We're going to be just above that inverted inversion once again. For the valley though, stuck in the inversion, it's going to be a little bit chillier. Lows tomorrow morning in the 30s, but look at those highs. That is not normal for the second day of December. Upper 60s and lower 70s, so enjoy it while you can. We'd love rain and snow. It's just not in the forecast right now. For the Chico area, mid to upper 30s tonight. Daytime highs again between 65 and 70 degrees for your Wednesday. The next seven days in Chico, we're going to have a partly cloudy sky Thursday and Sunday, but not a good chance for any wet weather. Highs most days in the mid to upper 60s. And for Reading, between 65 and 70 tomorrow through next Tuesday. Lows will be a little bit chilly, averaging in the mid 30s, but unfortunately, we don't have a good chance for any rain or snow, perhaps for two straight weeks. Thanks, Jason.